been a lot of hard work without much progress for Spokane police as they search for a killer. Well, it's been seven full days now since a woman was attacked and killed in East Spokane. And today, police are no closer to finding her killer. No, 55-year-old Charlotte McGill was walking her dog along the Spokane River on South Riverton when a man attacked and stabbed her several times. It shocked the community and even police called it troubling because stranger-on-stranger stranger attacks are highly unusual. So it, it appears that, you know, an innocent person is walking their dog and then is brutally attacked. Investigators have spent the last week combing every single inch of the crime scene, pinning their hopes of a solid lead on the apparent stolen battery that was discovered hidden near the scene of that attack. Today, the police spokesperson told KXLY4 there was nothing new to say about this investigation. Our search for a killer coverage is focused at the scene with KXLY4's Kylie Cruz. And Kylie, the neighborhood remains on edge tonight. And Mike, that's right. Obviously, some neighbors in the area still very worried since McGill's killer is still on the loose a week after the attack. Now, here's a recap of what's happened the last couple of days in the investigation. Now, yesterday, the chief of the Washington State Patrol says his crime lab has made processing evidence in Charlotte McGill's murder a top priority and has agreed to let the, this case jump to the front of the line at their crime lab. Now, the police department also saying yesterday that crime analysts are compiling a list of possible possible suspects based on their violent history. On Tuesday, there was a possible sighting of the killer near Spokane Falls Community College. Now, police say they checked the area but didn't find anything. And also this week, city crews were out clearing brush from the trail to improve safety in the area. Now, we spoke to one neighbor today who has lived in the area for three years, and he says he's most worried now about his grandkids being out here late at night. I don't like women walking around here late at night. All alone, you know, so I kind of feel a little bit of a fear, I guess. And Mir Montez says he still walks on Tuffy's trail even after the attack. You now today we've seen a few people out here walking around at the makeshift memorial that was set up for McGill just across the way. It appears to have been taken down. There's still one candle left, but obviously the memory of her not forgotten. Reporting live here tonight along South Riverton, I'm Kylie Cruz, Kixel Y4 HD News.